How y'all doing? It's another episode of Tree Seeking Trucker. We're getting our Father's Word in Ezekiel 41. This is a continuation of the Millennial Temple. Let's begin with some prayer. Father God, as we go through this message, may we get the uh, understanding of the message you're trying to uh, um, give us. And uh, may we have eyes to see and ears to hear. And uh, thank you for helping me with my headache, Father. Um, we pray and, and, uh, and, and worship you. And uh, we thank our, your son, Jesus Christ, and honor him to you, Father. He saved this sinner from, from uh, eternal damnation, Father. And uh, may, uh, may I stay on the path and all of the audience and even the audience beyond the audience stay on the path to, that leads to Christ. In Jesus' holy name, amen. All right, let's begin. Verse 41. Chapter 41, verse 1. Afterward, he brought me to the temple and measured the post six cubits broad on one side and six cubits broad on the other side, which was the breadth of the tabernacle. Who was he? I believe it's an angelic uh, being. Wasn't specific on, on it, but the description seems like it was an angelic messenger of, of God. And uh, remember, the breadth is the width, right? Verse 2. And the breadth of the door was 10 cubits. And the sides of the door were five cubits on the one side and five cubits on the other side. And he measured the length thereof, 40 cubits, and the breadth, 20 cubits. Three, then went he inward and measured the post of the door, two cubits, and the door, six cubits. And he breadeth the door, seven cubits. Four, so he measured the length thereof, 20 cubits. And he breadeth 20 cubits. 20 cubits before the temple and he said unto me this is the most holy place so this is the holiest part of the temple five after he measured the wall of the house six cubits and the breadth of every chamber four cubits round about the house on every side six and the side chambers were three one over another and 30 in order and they entered into the wall which was of the house for the side chambers round about that they might have hold but they had not hold in the wall of the house seven and all. And there was an enlarging and a winding about still upward to the side chambers for the winding about of the whole of the house went still upward round about the house. Therefore the breadth of the house was still upward. And so increased from the lowest chamber to the highest by the midst being the middle midst is in the middle eight. I saw also the height of the house round about the foundations of the side chambers were full of reed, six great cubits. Nine, the thickness of the wall, which was of the side chamber without was a five cubits and which was left was a place of the side chamber, which were within 10. And between the chambers was the wideness of the 20 cubits round about the house on every side. 11, and the doors of the side chambers were toward the place that was left one door toward the north and another door toward the south and the breadth of the place that was left was five cubits round about 12. now the building that was before the separate places at the end toward the west was 70 cubits broad and the wall of the building was five cubits thick round about wow that's a thick it's a thick building and the length thereof 90 cubits 13. So he measured the house on the 100 cubits long and the separate place. And um, the building with the walls are of 100 cubits long. 14. And also the breadth of the face of the house and the separate place toward the east and the 100 cubits. 15. And he measured the length of the building over against the separate places that were be behind it. And the galleries there on there are the side and the side of the 100 cubits with the inner temple and the porches of the court. 16, and the doorposts and the narrow windows and the galleries round about and the three stories over the against the door sealed with wood round about and from the ground up the windows and the windows were covered. Now it doesn't mention the wood, what kind it was like it didn't first uh, Solomon's temples, right? And uh, sec the second temple, King Solomon. S was that the second temple? Yeah. 17. To that above the door, uh, even unto the inner house without and by the wall, 
round about within and without by measure 18 and it was made with um cherubim i'm sorry that was the first temple was king solomon's i believe i'm sorry i got a headache so you know what i mean if, if you can look that up just you know you're getting a little but i'm continuing let's let's move forward okay um this will start in verse 18 and it was made with the cherubims and the palm trees so that the palm trees were between the cherub and, and a cherub and every cherub had two faces 19 so that the face of a man was toward the palm tree on one side and the face of the young lion toward the palm tree on the other side it was made through all the house round about 20 and from the ground to until above the door were cherubims and palm trees made and the wall of the temple remember the um living creature was uh had four faces now we got a the, the man on there and the lion but the eagle and the ox are gone maybe it means something to us i believe god's word is not written in vain there's not one word in the word of god that's just a filler word um it's a significance what it is right now i don't know i don't know yet but it's but it's a, it um light bulbs you know breadcrumbs you can follow it um 21 the posts of the temple were were cored quarried and the faces of the sanctuary that appeared of the ones that appeared of the other 22 the altar of wood was three cubits high and the length thereof two cubits and the corners thereof the length thereof and the walls thereof were of were of wood and he said unto me this is the table that is before the lord 23 in the temple the sanctuary had two doors 24 and the doors had two leaves a piece two turning leaves two leaves for one door and two leaves for the other door 25 25 and there were made on them on the doors of the temple cherubims and the palm trees like were made upon the walls and there were a thick plank upon the faces of the porch without 28 26 and there were narrow windows and palm trees on the side and on the other side on the sides of the porches and upon the side chambers of the house with thick planks now we don't we see these palm trees that are mentioned um and i had a uh a, 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 a thought pop in my head and like the palm trees when christ entered the the um the city when he first entered jerusalem and they laid palm trees on the on the um in his path and the donk and he rode a donkey into the land uh into the into the city right and representation of the ancient world when a king came into a city on a donkey it was to come in humbleness and also as a sign of peace he wasn't coming for war but the second coming of christ he's coming on a white white horse and he's coming to destroy the enemies of god so just know that um the significance of and the differences between that but that's what i seen with those palm trees you know when i when i just read that i thought it was awesome you know um i wish i would have uh um i wish i would have done something well we're only eight min minutes into it let me let me get my phone real quick and um uh, check it out maybe we can read it real quick right this is a short study Sorry, Paul. Give me one second. So also to Zechariah 9, 9 through 10, there was a prophecy of the king coming into Jerusalem on a foal of a donkey. Um, that was a prophecy before Christ came. Zechariah chapter 9, 9 through 10.
Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it was a kind of a, I, I, I don't believe I, I couldn't, so that's what I was talking about earlier, uh, about uh, catching things sometimes when I, when I, when I um, start um, doing the study, and I'd hate to start all over, so, but those are the, um, I can't find exactly the Bible verse it's in, but that's, uh, that's where I was, if you want to, maybe you'll get some deeper understanding in, uh, you know, when Christ entered the, you know, the city of Jerusalem, so, with that, God bless you, take care, and uh, chapter 41 of Ezekiel is going to be about the same, I think in half the chapter, it starts to um, go uh, away from the the description of the measurements and the of the temple building, but God bless you and take care.